Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth day of learning the journey. Today's words are fiend, pugnacious, promulgate, rash, scoff, belittle, tangible, laceration, castigate, and sordid. First word is faint. Fiend means a distract a distracting movement used during fights. Here's a sentence. A brief faint at the opponent's face. Part of speech is a verb. In the picture, you can see somebody's making a faint or a distracting movement. Um, the next word is... Pugnacious. Pugnacious is spelled P-U-G-N-A-C-I-O-U-S. Pugnacious means eager or quick to argue, quarrel, or fight. Here's a sentence. Squirrels are restless, courageous, and pugnacious little animals. Part of speech, adjective. The squirrels are kind of fighting there. So, the next word is... Promulgate. Promulgate means to promote or make something famous. A sentence for promulgate is, she promulgated the app during her press meet. Part of speech is a verb. In the pictures, there's a person telling everybody and promoting a thing, something. And in the other picture, there's a person putting out banners and in a newspaper and sticking posters everywhere and promoting something. The next word is brash. Brash is spelled B-R-A-S-H. Brash has multiple definitions. The first definition is self-assertive in a rude, noisy, or overbearing way. The picture with the bird represents the first definition. The second definition is having an ostentatious or tasteless appearance, which is the golden car, which really attracts some, it really attracts a lot of looks. And so the sentence is, he could be brash, cocky, and arrogant. Part of speech is an adjective. Our next word is... Scoff. Scoff is spelled S-C-O-F-F. Scoff means to speak to someone in an offensive, mocking, or unrespectful tone. Here's a sentence. You, a composer, no way he scoffed. Part of speech, verb. The next word is belittle. Belittle means to make someone or something seem unimportant. It is spelled B E L I T T L E. A sentence for belittle is this is not to belittle his role. Part of speech is a verb. In the picture, a person, the woman, thinks she's important and she's making the other person tiny and making him seem not important, as if she's the most important thing there. The next word is... Tangible. Tangible is spelled T A N. G I B L E. Tangible means able to touch and feel. A sentence for tangible is books and pencils are tangible, but gases like air and carbon dioxide aren't. The part of speech is an adjective. In the picture, people are touching, sticking their fingers out. They can't feel 
the air surrounding their hand. The next word is Laceration. Laceration is spelled L A C E R A T I O N. It means a deep cut or tear in skin or flesh. A sentence for laceration is He suffered lacerations to his head and face. Part of speech. Is a noun. In the picture, there's a laceration on this person's hand, on the side of his thumb, apparently. So, the next word is castigate. Castigate is spelled C A S T I G A T E. Castigate means to reprimand someone severely. And so, the sentence for castigate is, he was castigated for not setting a good example. And he was castigated for lying to his parents. I hope you remember the definition of reprimand. We, it's in the, one of the previous videos. If you do, good job. If you don't, I'll remind you. Reprimand means to look at someone in a very unhappy, disappointed way. So, part of speech is a verb. In the picture, the older person is castigating the younger one. The next word is sorted. Sorted is spelled S O R D I D. Sorted means dirty or not clean. Here's a sentence for sorted His room was sorted. There were clothes and empty candy wrappers all over the floor. Part of speech is adjective. In the picture, somebody's hands are dirty or sorted. This word is often con mis um, mixed up with sorted. So remember, sorted and sorted are different. Thank you very much. For if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications on the latest videos. Thank you very much.